In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make an Iberian house in Minecraft. And this one in particular has been inspired from the game Zero AD, which is an open source kind of Age of Empires like game. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more of these type of videos, I'll leave a link in the card above, as well as in the description to a full playlist that you guys can check out after the video. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So it's kind of uh, two buildings, two two main squares really. Not really two buildings, but you know what I mean. Um, it's kind of got this like small porch type area and then it's got the main building in here. Quite small though, um, but that is kind of what it looks like from the outside. Um, so guys, it is 11 blocks uh, wide, 11 blocks long, and it's also five blocks high. I don't know why, a lot of these Iberian ones, they're pretty much fitting into a perfect square and it is not by design. <laughs> It just seems to happen that way. Uh, so materials that you guys are going to need, packed mud, mud bricks, stripped oak wood, oak planks, stripped birch wood, birch planks. Uh, we're also going to need some oak slab and some, there should be some oak stairs there. Is that not what that, that's what that is there, oak stairs. There we go, like that. And we'll need a load of other materials as well, especially as we get onto the main roof. Uh, but for the time being, that will get us started. So what we're going to do? Grab yourself some packed mud. We're going to be starting with, uh, if we're looking at the house, we're going to do it this way. Looking at the house, the top left-hand corner, uh, that's where we're going to be starting our build from. So what we're going to do with our packed mud is we're going to have nine going across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we're going to have five going this way. So you've already got your one, two, three, four, and five. So nine that way, five this way. And then we're just going to bring that around to a full square or not square, rectangle. One day I'll learn my geometry, maybe. Um, so there we go, get that there. On the uh, left hand side of this build, we're gonna go forwards with an additional three blocks. So one, two, and three. And then what we're gonna do is it's gonna be four wide. So two, three, and four. And then just connect that in there like that. So you end up with that kind of building. We can then get rid of that extra bit there. So we get this nice L shape going on, especially when you look at it that way. So right at the front here, we're just going to knock out this one here just for a window. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do some variations. So grab your mud bricks and we're going to just randomly replace some of these with mud bricks. I quite like replacing the corners with uh, the bricks. So I've been preferring lately, but it's totally up to you guys what you want to do. And you might want to just for variation, just uh, randomly leave one in. There we go, go for that maybe and do that there. That'll do, something like that. Um, you can also use granite as well. If you wanted to give it a bit more of a reddish kind of color, uh, you can switch out with some granite every so often. Uh, but I've been typically keeping it granite free for the time being so that it looks really dry. Um, kind of want to give that, that kind of, yeah, that kind of look. Right, so next we're gonna do with our birch planks is we're just gonna birch plank this thing up one more layer. Okay, there we go. And then with our stripped oak and also our oak planks, every so often, just on this layer, you're going to just replace one of these. So also with the uh, stripped oak wood, make sure you get some of them sideways as well. You don't want to have them all the same way. Feel free to cluster them. The idea behind this is that this is like a slightly darker color than, uh, and it's kind of a little bit of a transition block really uh, between the two, but uh, it's not, not perfect by any means, so, you know, switch a couple of those out like that. That give you a little bit of that, that kind of variation. All right, so we're gonna build this up one more. Again, start with your birch planks first. We can go over the entrance here. We're actually gonna have to put in a stair there, but for the time being, that'll do. Uh, go all the way over this. And now what we can do is with our stripped uh, birch wood, I'll actually tell you what we'll do. We'll do the next level as well. Uh, the only thing I've got to check is, yeah, that's three blocks high. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I wasn't sure of the back because it's kind of like the slope down bit if this was up at the same level as this, but it looks like it is. So uh, with your birch, you're going to go around on the back part of this rectangle. And then this is actually going to go straight over. Now for my one, I ended up replacing these, uh, those two, just with a stripped birch wood going over the top from what I remember. But uh, I might be mistaken. I might have even got rid of them. I think I actually got rid of them, um, but there we go, we'll leave that there. Um, with your stripped birch wood now, this is where you can start variating on all three of those levels. Uh, it's just that I sometimes find that it's best to have 
everything around so you can see where you're going to be variating your blocks. You know, so go in and just switch out a couple of these every so often. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> I think like have I put a block somewhere inside the house just completely by a random, but apparently not. So there it goes, you know, get some of these things going in here. And all of these, just to give it a good kind of texture going on there. Look at that, that looks cool, doesn't it? So there we go, we'll do something like that. That looks good. And apparently, like, apparently I didn't do much in this middle block gap at all, so I'm just going to place another one in there like that for good measure. Okay, cool. Right, so your oak slabs now. Um, just on top of this a little bit, we're going to have just oak slabs here. On either side, we're going to have an oak stair. There's going to be slabs in the middle of that. Then what we're going to do is going to have an oak block either side of that with two upper slabs there like that. And it doesn't stick out over, it's just like that, really, really basic. Uh, not much more going on with that. We're going to do this little frame that's at the front here. So we're going to need a spruce fence and also a spruce slab. So grab those two. And where you've got this block here, we're going to be on to the next one down from that on the upper slab. And that's going to go all the way across the entire length of this building. And then we're going to have another slab that comes down from it like that. And then we're going to have a fence on the ends of it. So this is just a little storage area. For my one, I placed in a load of hay bales and also a composter. Up to you guys if you want to do the same thing or not. So I put the composter in there and just kind of, you know, filled this up, did a couple of them go in different directions. Uh, this is so far not looking very variated, but uh seem to always be better at doing it the first time. I don't know why, but uh something like that. That looks way too uniform, doesn't it? Something's weird about it. There we go, that'll do for the time being. Uh or even better put one like that way. That's better. Cool, right, so what we're going to do now is this main roof. So this roof is also variated. So we've got three different textures in here. We've got a brick slab, a granite slab, and also we've got jungle slab. Uh, and then also grab yourself a brick stair. Uh, it doesn't look like I've actually used a granite stair, but you could do. And also jungle stair as well. Apparently I have used the granite stair. There we go, so let's go grab that. And I want them in order, because why not? I'm also going to grab a jungle fence as well just for this uh, thing going on here. Right, so at the back what we're going to do is we, if we actually start this off with just brick I think, so uh, we're going to have an upside down stair here, leave one, upside down stair, leave one, and you basically just variate that all the way across the back, then whack in some brick slabs in the middle of that, have that poking out by one either side with just a slab, and then with your jungle fence gate what you're going to do is you're going to have a fence gate punched through just on those stairs, so these are like little sticks or something sticking out of the building. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to have just slabs on the top here and that's just going to stick out over. Have another slab set going over this. Uh, like that. Whoops, not like that. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a stair. Slab. Stair. I'm going to have that one as granite. Why not? Slab. Stair. Slab, stair, slab, and stair. So it just matches what we've got down here. That's all that's going on there. And then the rest of them are going to be upper slabs. So you can actually have two upper slabs here. There you go. And you'll see what this means in a second. So there we go. Get that going out there. Get that one going down there. Apparently we didn't do it on the other side. We'll do it on the other side now. Um, we're just going to build these up as blocks. So some of these we're going to, as we replace, we'll switch them out but just to have that gap filled up and then with this front part what we're going to do is we're going to do the same variation with your stairs as we did at the back or in the middle parts of it so we've got the upside downs in there like that and then the same with your jungle fence gate we're going to have these punched out just on those stair pieces and also on the front of this we're going to have them punched but we're going to do the whole set so you've got like the thicker ones right next to each other whereas these ones are just there, you could do the same on this, but I just, I don't know. I thought it looked a little bit overkill if I did it that way. So I decided to go with it this way, where it kind of looks pretty evenly spaced. Um, but, you know, you could do that if you wanted a thicker look, or just have every so often have one randomly in there that's punched like that, so it looks a bit thicker, I don't know. Depends on how much you want to variate the whole build, really. Um, there we go, so that's that. So now we get on to variation. Okay, so just randomly switch out some blocks. It's as simple as that. There's nothing else about this, really. It's just trying to make it look 
bit more interesting. And therefore, just, you know, grab your blocks, switch them out, have a look at what's going on. Not too much more than that, really, at all. We have a stair there. I haven't got any up here, so let's do some of them here as well. So, you know, you just get in on the back of this. That one's going to be a block, so whack that one up to a block. Let's put a wood piece there, maybe. Uh, maybe this one's going to be a wood piece. Yep, apparently. That one, let's do that one as granite. Let's have another one of these. Um, no, actually, not, let's not do that. Let's just do granite on the end. So, yeah, just variate, variate, variate. Um, there's nothing more I can tell you about this, really. It is just what it is. I think that one needs to be a stair then. Okay. So, keep going till you're happy, basically. And that's that's all you end up doing, is just variating these. Let's go with that one there. This now, now that we're looking at it, to me, it looks really quite light. It's like there's not enough variation down the bottom here at all, but uh, we will get there. Okay, so... Let's go with that one, go with that one. Cool, there we go, look at that. That will then do. Um, so the only other thing we got to do, of course, is windows and a door. Uh, very important to uh, doors. Um, so we're going to need a birch stair and also a spruce door. We're also going to need oak fence, I use it on this one, rather than jungle. Um, spruce fence gate, spruce fence, uh, spruce trap door. I don't think I put one on the other side. You could do, though. There's nothing stopping you at all. So for the door, nice and simple. Birch stair it. And then put in your birch uh, spruce door. There you go. And on this side, it's just two right in the middle right here. This one and this one. Upside down birch stair there. Spruce fence either side of that with a spruce fence gate over the top. Oak fence in the middle. You could also use uh, jungle, which I've done in, in, in another build. Uh, and then you could also have just yeah these two spruce trap doors on the side. That's going to be your shutter. So feel free to go for something like that. And again, like if you want to change it and, and or put another one on the, on the side, feel free to do that as well. So I'm double up these, make sure we haven't got any gaps. So there's nothing worse than a little gap. Just You can just tell. <laughs> you can really just tell it. There we go, look. You can see it there. On the other sides? No, that's all sorted now. There we go. All looking good. Uh, so the only other thing I did with this one, guys, is just the flooring, uh, which I've got packed dirt. Packed mud, even. So let's get grab that again. So we've got uh, brown concrete powder, packed mud. I've got rooted dirt and coarse dirt just in a mix of that to give it a kind of like dry kind of muddy look uh just around this build totally up to you guys if you want to do that or not but that is it for this tutorial guys hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have make sure to comment like and subscribe and as always i'll see you on the next one